Welcome back to Social Spy. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be explaining system work mode and how that setting menu works. Okay, so we're going to start on the left hand side, the top left. See, there are three different settings there one is selling first, the other is zero export to load, and zero export to CT. Basically, what that indicates is selling first would be it prioritizes selling your solar power instead of keeping it in your house but selling it to grid sending it to grid right then zero export to load what that is for is it prioritizes sending power only from your solar it only sends it to the items on or the circuits on your house that are connected to the inverter so it won't send any power to anything else so that would kind of, you'd view that as an off-grid inverter. Then we have the zero export to CT setting. Now what zero export to CT is, so it kind of makes this inverter a hybrid, but it allows you to send any excess power that you make from your solar panels to what we call the non-essentials, or basically put the circuits that are not connected to the inverter. So in the case of the five kilowatt, you would look at your geyser would normally not be connected and your oven, right? Then we go look at the top right where it's got max solar power. That indicates kind of like what the maximum power you have on your inverter. So you can see it's 5,000 watts, five kilowatts. Then we go to max cell power. So maximum sells five kilowatts at any time. Obviously, as you can see, this is not selling at the moment. Then you'll see next to that that's zero export to power. Zero export power is basically how much it takes from grid at any given time. So there at that 20, it's 20 watts. So if it's not you know, needing grid every now and then it'll take a 20 watts. It just kind of keeps you, you know, your, your meter active. The next very important thing that we go through is energy pattern. Energy pattern, there are two settings on that. It's battery first and load first. What battery first does is it prioritizes charging the batteries first with your solar. So it will charge the batteries and then any excess will go to the load. Then you have load first. That is literally the, the opposite of what it is with battery first, where it prioritizes sending to the load in your house first and then charging your battery with all the excess, right? Then you have grid peak shading. So grid peak shading is normally used for overseas, but briefly what it's for is during any kind of peak shading times and you've got your lower rates, you could set that to charge your batteries on a lower rate. So you, you save money with when during your charging period, but it is normally used for overseas. It's not used as much here in South Africa, but there is its uses here. And if we go to the next screen, that is what I'm sure everyone is kind of wanting to, to know about. That is the time of use. So time of use on the days is very, very useful. It's very similar to this one that's on SunSync. What it allows you to do is set up slots for charging and discharging. So you'll see on the right, there's grid charge, then gen, and then your time and your battery percentage. So what you see here is on your time, so from one to five, you can tell it to charge or to discharge. So say I wanted to go to 60% at that time, it will then drop to 60%. Then here, same thing. It's at 100%, if I wanna make a discharge there, then I'll set that. And it's so forth for each one and it allows it, it tells the the inverter to to tell the batteries to discharge their load or allow it to discharge the load into the house where need be up to a certain percentage and then charge back now these grid charge settings what happens is if they are ticked that means that it will take power from the grid to charge the batteries up to their to the required percentage so say you're on 50 percent and there's grid charge on it will charge them back up to 70 percent as soon as that time slot comes in where if it's say on still on 80 percent and set to go to to 70 percent it will still discharge up until 70 percent where it should stop but unless if there's load shedding and then it will deplete further than that if there is no grid charge set it will use 
solar to charge it up. So it will prioritize only taking from the solar panels during that period, not using the grid to charge the, your batteries up. The times are adjustable. So say I want that rather to start at two o'clock, I can adjust that to two o'clock and it will change the relevant settings as required to match. So it's, it's quite, a, quite a simple setting. Right. Then we go to system work mode. So system work mode, well, this final page of system work mode, what that does is it tells you when your time of use slots come into play. So you can say on Monday, I just want the batteries to stay full. So it will stay full if you untick it. And it kind of works throughout the whole thing, the same situation, I shouldn't like that. It's a very easy kind of system and how it works. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we will get back to you as soon as we can with an answer.